is Zoe Sierra. I'm currently a junior at Crane High School. I'm also attending Augusta College as a freshman. And today, I'm going to be talking about something that wasn't very aware of in the present or the past. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about minorities and adoption. You may ask what a minority is. Minorities can be things such as same-sex couples, a single parent home, or transracially adopting. Just anything out of the typical box of a normal family unit, which is a male father figure, a female mother figure, and two or three of the same race kids. Why is minority and adoption so important, you may ask? And I think it is so important because we've never thought of it to be right to transracially adopt, and this left so many kids of color left behind. And I'm going to show you these statistics that I found in my research. 59% of the children waiting to be adopted are children of color. 42% are African American and 15% are of the Latino or Hispanic descent. I think the reason it is this way is because people back then or in general used to not let people adopt um, children of different color, children in minority. And this started to build up on us to where we have so many children of color and so many handicapped children left. And now they're just letting anybody adopt as long as they're well fit. Now I'm going to talk about some of the things I will be getting more in depth of later on in my speech. And this is public perception of minorities and adoption, agency practices, and how they've started strategizing to promote um, minorities and adoption. And I'm going to talk, be talking about the effects on the children and how they can be good or bad. First, let's talk about public perceptions. I found in my research that higher socioeconomic status and younger parents, as well as traditional heterosexual couples, are to be more favored when minorities, when they're adopting children of minorities. And now, although some people that do this do have negative feedback from their family, and this causes and leads to feelings of unrest in a family unit. And to let's say a white, two white parents adopted um, two Afro African American kids. They reported that society in general would make them choose whether they want to be profiled as white or as black. Now let's talk about how agencies have strategized to promote minorities in adoption. They have often not charged any fees and they serve older and more handicapped children. And some of the other methods they have used is finding lower income families, same sex couples, and single parent homes. And agency has also supported um, the heterosexual couples or any same sex couples more than they did in the past. Now lastly, let's wrap it up with the effects on the children and how these can be good or bad. First, let's talk about the negative effects on the children. Children often reported being feeling unsafe in public and they were also made fun of at school and they got negative remarks from their peers, such as they're not sure what their race is or they're going to be gay because their parents are the same sex. However, little do they know these children are better equipped to navigate through difficult situations with a difference. And they also have more positive family values. These are all the resources I found, my states and my facts in my speech. Thank you.